Hey, man. This has been weighing heavy on my mind lately. And for the folks that don't know, I've been wearing my option about declaring for the NFL draft. I mean, hell, I've done everything I set out to do. My goal is coming out of high school. One of the best receiver in the nation. Two-time first-team All-SEC player. Two-time first-team All-American. National championship winner. Broke multiple school records. I mean, shit, my resume speaks for itself, right? If he was in my shoes, what would you do? Would you stay? Would you go? But before you answer that, my pops, he's always never steered me wrong. Never. Now, before I make this stupid ass decision about jumping in the NFL without thinking things through, my pop just told me to swing by the house so I could talk to him and one of his lifelong buddies. Now, one of his lifelong buddies has definitely helped tons of college athletes make that right decision, that important decision to jump from college to the pros. Now, of course, I'm willing to listen, you know, get the deep intel about making that jump. Now, for me, I feel like I've done pretty much everything that a, a college player would even dream of. You know what I mean? So, but of course, I would just listen, receive the information. Now, if it's something I want to hear, of course, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the NFL. But if he's pretty much giving me the right information about staying, I'm definitely going to stay. some good news man I'm hoping to hear some good news ah you're finally here glad that you had the time to talk to me today hey I'm just glad I can be here cut to the chase your father has been talking with me regarding you wanting to turn pro yeah, it's definitely been something I've been thinking about a lot lately well I'll be up front and let you know that you're one hell of a player, it's no doubt about that, and that, but what I'm hearing from different scouts and GMs is that you're a project to be a day two pick if you was to come out right now in this year's draft. So you mean to tell me that my resume, I'm only projected as a day two pick? Like, come on, man, my resume speaks for itself. Yes, I understand that, but in order to put yourself into that first round category, you gotta work on your routes. Because scouts are saying that your only route is the go route. And at the next level, you got to be able to run every route, not just that go route. Oh, and also, your consistency as far as catching passes. Because scouts are also saying that you have multiple drop passes since last year. So if you can work on those two things, I can guarantee you that you'll be a first round draft pick. Man, you know what? I can't even be mad at the information I just got. Reason is, you always don't find your gems. You should start us in the first round. We all know that. But I hit up my girl and I let her know my decision. I'm finna let y'all know my decision. Tommy, you're a genius. Hey, we back, man. We are back with another video man this is this is the last episode of season two we're going against byu we rank number seven they rank number nine as you can see we got them beating pretty much every category except for pass defense man i don't know what it is about when you play offense I ain't gonna get into all that but you can see we we kind of on the edge of setting some school records man set some ncaa records it's crazy that this kid has done this in two seasons man just like the intro Y'all voted. The kid is going to stay, man. He's definitely going to stay. He's going to try to bring another national championship to them Aggies, man. Texas A&M. Yes, you can see the top 10, man. Louisiana is ranked number 10, man. Scared money don't make money. That's what I'm talking about, man. Well, here's the Heisman, man. Haskins is like he's going to run away with it. He did run away with it. Isaiah Spiller, as you can see, the the... the Pretty much got similar stats. 
Only thing, you know, that, that Haskins beat him out because his team is undefeated. The Haskins team is undefeated. So, you know what I mean? So, that pretty much sums up the Heisman Trophy. A lot of it's only one quarterback, man, Matt Jones. But here we are, man. First team all NCAA first team all American, bro. First team. The first team all SEC. Like, come on, bro. This is. You know what I mean? But he just really he really want to establish himself as a surefire number one draft pick. Not saying that, you know, you don't get gems and, and good players outside of the first round because you do. You know what I mean? So he definitely want to lock himself in that position. You know what I mean? So I ain't going to hold y'all long, man. Let's get straight into it, man. Let's go. All right, man, we taking on BYU. Now, I feel like no cornerback can cover this guy, man. All right off the line, bro. He was gone. That goes for any defense, man. This can't no cornerback completely shut this kid out for an entire game. It won't happen. But second and nine here. We're going to try to get the running game going, man. Isaiah Spiller has all kinds of running lanes to the right outside, but he decided he wanted to cut it back inside and pick up a for one. All right, 39. Are we right here? Let's go. Nice catch. We want to pick up a six. We two yards short, but Jimbo said, hell, we're going to go with it, man. Calzada, bro, I need for you to be on your A game. Offensive line on your A game. Oh, nice. Nice fire, man. Nice sit down in the zone. Isaiah Spiller picks up 11 to keep the drive alive. All right. First and 10. Also, man, I want to hit a huge shout out, huge shout out, man, to John Jet Gaming. You know, a fellow buddy of mine, I'm going to leave his link in the description. Y'all go sub to his channel. Come tell him I sent you, man. So, big shout out to you, bro. Isaiah Spiller showing off the strength. Like, yo, where had this been all season, man? As he picks up 11 on that play. But I feel like if offensive line plays good, you know, Isaiah Spiller goes off. Calzada, of course, he's going to go off throwing the ball all over the cross yard. And all defense step up, man, it's like... We can't be beat. Look at Calzada, man. Put on the moves. Let's go. He sets up first and goal, man. I got sold out of the game, so they ran it in and pressed it in. So here we are with a 7 0 lead. Second and 10. Another read option call. Nice handoff. Isaiah Spiller, he got all kinds of running room and he picks up. Bro, he got 10 yards, bro. Like, give him no first down, man. But first and 10. But I do want to appreciate y'all, man. Like, seriously. Bro, where's the coverage at? Bro, <laughs> like I said, this can't nobody cover this dude one on one. You can't shut him out the entire game. Just won't happen. All right, second and goal. Ooh, that was nearly picked off, bro. Damn, I'm glad that wasn't picked off, man. But after a couple penalties, man, that we. Third and goal. Let's see if we can score. Let's see if we can get in this end zone right here. Bro. And I look back on the replay. That wasn't a drop, by the way. The defender, you know, morphed through my body and batted away right there. But third and four right here. Pressure up the middle. Calzada goes down for a sack, man. That's why I say if the offensive line can protect Calzada, bro, he's going to light this defense up. First and ten. Oh, nice throw. Nice catch for a first down. Cameron Buckley pick up of 12. All right, second and 11. Cross the middle again. Cameron Buckley again. First down. Let's keep it moving, man. Let, let's, let's, yo. Once we get going, it's hard to stop this offense, man. It's, it's hard. Bro, we got him beat off the line, bro. But we not going to sell if, if it was selfish, man. As Watermeyer gets in the end zone, as we take a commanding two score lead man 17 to 13 yo if that dig rod is gonna keep being that bro i'm just gonna keep taking it all right first and ten. Oh, bro we got him beat yo like come on bro yo all right second and ten exact same play call bro it's like come on you seen it the first time bro like come on let's go but like this kid is just really adding to his resume, bro. Adding to his resume. He definitely want to strengthen his game. 
As you can see, we setting school records, bro. Like you said in the intro. I mean, what more could you ask for? But I guess the scouts want to see him, you know. You know, uh, he had a couple drop passes, man. To his, you know, last year, you at three this year. So scouts want to see him, you know, sure up those hands and also work on a lot of his, his route tree. Because a lot of DBs in the NFL, bro, they, they just going to eat him alive, man. So you definitely got to be able to run every route, man. So that's what the scouts want to see next year. Wadamire with the first down grab. Let's go. That's what I'm saying, man. You give you give Calzada time to throw the ball. He's gonna find open people, man. First and ten, coach because this coach gonna let us tote the rock. Let's go. We only pick up seven. That's okay, man. All right, second and nine, man. We are running away with this game. Play action, bro. We got it right here. Let's go. <laughs> It's cut with a grab, bro. I suck like hell, pause, man. But I'm a bad blocker, man. I'm a bad teammate when it comes to blocking. First, oh, nice cutback lane. Let's go first down. That's what we like to see, man. Coach, he really want to see this dude do it all, man. Woo, we try to hit it with the spin around, but we only pick up three, man. I think that's enough running, coach. But at the end of three, but why the hell are y'all celebrating? Y'all getting your ass whooped, but I guess you gotta have faith, man. You definitely gotta have faith. Third and one. Oh, let's go. Nice move. Let's go. Cameron Buckley, 33 yard touchdown reception, baby. All right, third and seven. Let's go, man. Bro, we got him beat, bro. Like, yo, let that thing fly, man. Let just let it fly. <laughs> like for real Night right, 36 Oh we got him First down let's go Alright first and 10 I do want to say I help, hope everybody's having a You know A good year to had a great year man Wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's Isaiah Spiller picks up 11 And we definitely gonna walk out here with a W man you know this this you know this season has definitely been it's been interesting man we lost two games oh don't let them get loose we lost two games that you know we should not have lost but other than that man we just straight dominant i mean the secondary pass defense needs to step up other than that man our team is is good damn good so we gonna we gonna we gonna make a run next year man we definitely gonna make a run next year and that is it, bro. That is it, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Like, for real, for real, man. I appreciate every single person, man. And like the beginning of the video, man. Please watch the video all the way through. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel grow. It helps me out, man. So, I can't thank y'all enough. Like, seriously. So, it's your boy CR8. And until next time, man. Next season. I'm gone.